Here I have beautiful walnut, maple, zebrano and oak. I cut and planed this wood some days ago and it was resting in my shop till today. Before I started making cutting boards, I make sure that I square all the pieces from both sides on my table saw. Now after everything is squared, I can start cutting and making pattern. This is the layout of entire cutting board. The next step is gluing and it can be a little bit complicated, but I have a solution for that too. My uh, simple yet effective solution to hold all the pieces of the cutting board together is to place wooden sticks across the board and secure it with clamps. For nice and straight glue lines, apply a little bit more glue, place the clamps above the angled pieces and tighten them real hard. After you tighten those clamps real strong, you can put clamps on the sides. I have a bunch of new designs for cutting boards in my head for my daydreaming and now it's perfect time to make them. I see a lot of other guys having problems with gluing after cross cutting the board. Their glue lines aren't straight, they have gaps on the sides or in the center. And the main reason for that are planer knives. Let's say for example you have 12 inch planer. And the most uh, material that you plane is 5-6 uh, inches wide. That means in time uh, planer knives won't get wear equally. And in time that creates a curve. I have a solution for that too. I don't have a drum sander, but my solution is my orbital sander. I go gently in two passes from both sides until it's flat. The next step is cross cutting. Now we'll cross cut all the boards and glue them right after.
Gluing after cross cutting is also very important. Don't leave the pieces on the bench for long periods of time. Here I have a few examples of cutting boards that I made in the past week. They are all twisted. If you want to make a cutting board with edge around it, make sure the edge is in grain too. Here I have a nice piece of end grain zebrano for my upcoming video and in the next clip you'll see how it was made. Here I'm making handles with shop made jig. By going fast and routing in opposite direction you will minimize the tear out. So, tell me which board you like the most. I made plans for most of these designs and cutting boards will be available in my Etsy store. To learn more about that, visit video description. That's it guys, I hope you liked this video and if so, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you for watching.